Thanks, Kristen and Hank. I am out here at Jones Park, where this morning I watched the Cosmo offer us a trifecta, which is called a super blue blood moon. And it's been pretty cool this morning, but sadly, it is almost gone. I'm out here at Warren Paving in Gulfport. This business is located right off Lorraine Road and Highway 605. And right now, everything is pretty calm in here. And I'm sure that is not what the scene looked like this morning around 5.50 a.m. when police were called to this business after a disgruntled employee, former employee, walked inside the business and did shoot a gun. Now, no one was injured when he walked in and shot this gun, but this was Johnny Lee Fulton around 4 a.m. this morning. Harrison County Fire Department was called to East Adams Road where a house or a mobile home was completely engulfed in flames and I'm going to jump out of the way you can actually see it right there right behind me it is completely destroyed when they did get on scene they say that there was two people that had already escaped the house already left the house and they were both burned pretty badly they were taken to a medical I'll put this one down for a second how's that so right. give me a second all right, guys, he's going to be here all week, and the fair does get started tonight at 5 p.m. And tonight, admission is free, and there also is uh, a military discount tonight, so come out and check that out. And I think Gator Dave is about to show us something here. All right, so let's see what he's this, got this one here going on. Oh. He came out as a trap. He's a trap gator, considered a nuisance alligator. He's going about an eight foot. Yeah, Kristen Hank, I'm out here at Walmart Pharmacy where there's limited information at the moment. What we do know, what is confirmed, that there are two people dead inside the pharmacy. I'm going to get out of the way right now. You can see inside there is a handful of police and investigators on the scene. Everyone is inside the pharmacy at the moment. Right now, we have no information about who it is or what actually happened or what caused any of this or if they are still searching for somebody. We have no information about that. But of course, we'll keep you posted. Right now, the scene is pretty calm. If that's not your thing and you want a little scare on Halloween, they're also going to have a haunted house. Now, this is going to be in a barn back here, and we're not exactly sure how scary this is, so we're going to let that stay up to you, uh, depending on how much you can handle. I know personally, I don't really like scary things, so I would rather just stick with the candy. Hey, I'm out here on Highway 49 in Gulfport near Airport Road, and this morning a pedestrian was hit and killed by a vehicle. And as you can see behind me, the scene has been cleared. It did happen right here near this Arby's and uh, police were out here for quite a while investigating and clearing the scene. But as of just a few minutes ago, they have left the scene and is now open. So for a while, they did have those northbound lanes closed on Highway 49, but they have Open those up again, and you are able to go southbound and northbound here on Highway 49. I'm here at Seeing River Hospital in Pascua with Dr. Wittersheim, who is going to actually use this thing today. Tell me what this is called. Well, this is the Mako Plasty or Mako Robotic Arm, and uh, this is the cutting edge technology for total joint replacement. Well, it's been benight the bondsman who received that bizarre message back in September. Can you tell me a little bit about what originally went down? Um, I received a message on my YouTube channel, a uh, comment on one of my YouTube videos that I, I'm going to be a professional school shooter. So that sent up red flags. I sent it to the FBI, reported it to YouTube, and I hadn't heard anything else about it until yesterday. So the FBI did recontact you again? Yes, they did. They contacted